The Toro Grandstand Commercial Stand on More provides landscape professionals with superior performance, productivity, and operator comfort. This operator safety video provides an overview of the safety features and operating characteristics of the Grandstand Moor. It is not a substitute for reading and understanding the complete operator's manual provided with the Moor. Always operate the Moor safely and be aware of specific terrain and mowing conditions. Drive with caution and keep the mower's speed under control. Stay well clear of water hazards. Beware of drop-offs and wet grass, especially when mowing on inclines. Operating the mower on any slope or ramp requires extra caution. Carefully mow hills from side to side and never mow an incline with a slope of more than 20 degrees. The grandstand mower is properly balanced and at optimum stability with the operator's weight on the operator platform. However, operators have the option of walking behind the mower under certain conditions such as driving up hills, parking on a trailer, or when storing. When operating as a walk behind, stay behind the mower in the operator's position. To lower the operator platform, push the platform forward against the cushion to release the pressure on the latch pin. Pull the pin knob outward and slowly lower the platform. Always wear proper clothing when operating mowing equipment. This includes appropriate work boots or shoes, safety glasses, and hearing protection. Long hair, loose-fitting clothing, and jewelry can easily catch or become tangled in moving parts. Make certain that safety shields and all equipment is in place on the mower and functioning properly. Ensure that tires are inflated to the recommended pressure. Do not operate the Toro Grandstand Moor unless all mechanical and safety systems are performing properly. The fuel tank is located forward of the center control panel and controls. The fuel shutoff valve, located at the right side of the engine, should always be closed when transporting or storing the mower. Use extra caution when fueling and never remove the fuel cap or add fuel when the mower is running or the engine is hot. Only add fuel to the mower when outdoors and only in a level, open area. Do not overfill the fuel tank. Fuel and vapors are explosive and extremely flammable. Prior to mowing, evaluate the area and terrain to determine how to safely perform the job. Carefully inspect the area to be mowed and remove any objects such as rocks, large branches, or other debris that may damage the mower or be thrown by the motion of the blades. Consider what accessories or attachments will be needed and use only Toro approved equipment on the mower. Before mowing, make sure the area is clear of other people. Stop mowing and immediately halt the motion of the blades if people or pets enter the area. Be continually aware of the mower's direction of discharge and direct the discharge away from vehicles and buildings. Again, 
Never allow the discharge to be directed toward people or pets with the blades engaged. Operators must be thoroughly familiar with all safety features and safety alert symbols and must be completely trained in the functions of the controls before operating the grandstand mower. The grandstand mower is equipped with Toro's innovative twin lever steering controls. This advanced control system provides precise control of the machine while reducing operator fatigue and increasing productivity. Become familiar with the controls before starting the engine and operating the machine. Operate all systems at slow speed until the characteristics of the mower are familiar. Operators should practice with the grandstand mower in a level, open area until thoroughly familiar with steering and all other operational features. The throttle control, located on the control panel, is used to control engine speed. For best results, place the throttle control in the fast position when mowing. Use the choke to assist with starting a cold engine. The new Toro Grandstand Mower is equipped with an adjustable speed control. This lever is located in the center panel and allows operators to vary the top speed of the machine without changing the range of motion of the controls. Novice operators should set the speed control at a slower setting until familiar with all features of the machine. The blade control switch, or PTO, works in conjunction with the right side motion control lever to engage and disengage the mower blades. The right side motion control lever is in the neutral lock position when moved to the right and in the unlocked position when moved to the center. This function is part of the operator presence controls and the safety interlock system. To engage the blade control, the right side motion control lever must be moved to the center unlocked position. To engage the blades, pull the switch up. To disengage the blades, push the PTO switch down or release the right side motion control lever to the neutral lock position. The ignition switch is used to start the engine. It has three positions, stop, run, and start. Set the parking brake by pulling the parking brake lever back. Push the lever forward to release. Always check the parking brake for proper operation before each use. The motion control levers are used to drive the machine in forward and reverse and to turn the machine in either direction. As described, in conjunction with the blade control switch or PTO, the right side motion control lever and the neutral lock position work in partnership with the safety interlock system to engage and disengage the mower blades and to set the hydro drive to neutral. Pushing the motion control levers forward from the center neutral position causes the mower to move in a forward direction. Pulling the motion control levers rearward from the neutral position will cause the mower to travel in reverse. Independently moving each motion control lever from the center neutral position will cause the mower to turn. Take time to study the operator's manual 
and become completely familiar with the grandstand mower's controls before attempting to operate the mower under commercial mowing conditions. To begin mowing with the Toro Grandstand Mower, be sure the mower is on level ground. Open the fuel valve and check that the parking brake is set. Set the speed control to a safe setting that's right for the area to be mowed. Tightly landscaped areas and terrain with hills, drop-offs, or water hazards require a slower setting. Move the throttle control to the fast position, and if the engine is cold, adjust the choke as necessary, moving it to the on position. To start the mower, turn the ignition key to the start position. When the engine starts, release the key. Lower the cutting deck. Move the right side motion control lever to the center position. Pull the blade control switch up to engage the blades. Slowly move the motion control levers forward. Two methods may be used to disengage the blades. Push the blade control switch, or PTO, down, or Move both motion control levers to neutral and release the right side motion control lever, allowing it to return to the neutral lock position. To stop the engine, move the motion control levers to neutral and move the right side motion control lever into the neutral lock position to disengage the blades. Move the throttle control to slow. If the engine has been working hard or is hot, allow it to idle for a minute before stopping to help cool the engine. Turn the ignition key to stop to stop the engine. Set the parking brake when you leave the moor and remove the ignition key. One of the most critical safety features on every Toro mower is the safety interlock system. Never tamper with the interlock switches. Check their operation on a daily basis. Consult the operator's manual to gain a complete understanding of the procedure for testing the operator presence controls and safety interlock system. Note that the engine will stop if the motion control levers are moved from the neutral position with the parking brake engaged. If the interlock system fails to function properly, do not operate the mower. Have an authorized service dealer repair the safety system immediately. To travel in a straight line, Move both levers forward an equal amount from the center neutral position. To turn, move the motion control lever toward neutral on the side corresponding to the direction you wish to turn. The more the levers are moved in either direction, the faster the more will turn in that direction. To move the more in reverse, slowly pull the motion control levers backward toward you. To stop the mower's travel, move the motion control levers to the neutral position. Wait for all moving parts to come to a stop before leaving the operator's position. Always set the parking brake when leaving the machine unattended, even for just a few minutes. The Toro Grandstand Mower has a hinged, flexible discharge chute, which directs clippings down and to the side of the mowing deck. 
never operate the machine without the discharge chute mounted and in proper working order. If the deflector is ever damaged, replace it immediately. When a discharge chute, cover, or complete bagger assembly is not properly mounted in place, operators and others are exposed to both blade contact and thrown debris, an extreme danger. The Toro Grandstand Moor has a suspended operator platform that folds and stows up out of the way. This allows operators the option of operating the grandstand mower as a walk-behind. While the grandstand mower has exceptional balance and stability, operators may use this walk option and step off the platform under challenging mowing conditions. These might include steep hillsides and ramps when loading onto a trailer. More safety extends to proper maintenance, transport, and storage of your Toro Grandstand mower as well. Never put hands or feet under the mower, and never attempt to clear the discharge area or the mower blades unless the PTO is disengaged, the engine stopped, and all moving parts are at rest. Turn the ignition key to stop, remove the key, and disconnect both spark plug wires before doing any work around the deflector, mowing blades, or the underside of the cutting deck. The Toro Grandstand Mower is equipped with bypass valves, which allow the mower to be pushed by hand without the engine running. Consult your operator's manual for specific instructions on opening the bypass valves, which allows hydraulic fluid to bypass the pumps and permits the wheels to turn freely. Your Grandstand Moore's operator's manual also contains detailed information on routine operator responsibilities. These include adjusting the height of cut, and adjusting and positioning the discharge baffle. Procedures for other routine maintenance, including greasing and lubrication, as well as servicing the air cleaner, are included in the manual. Never check for leaks in the hydraulic lines by feeling with your hands. Hydraulic fluid is under pressure and can penetrate skin causing severe injury. Use cardboard or paper to detect leaks in hoses. Before starting the engine and using the machine, check the engine oil level. Avoid touching equipment or attachment parts which may have become hot during use. Allow the mower to cool before attempting to maintain, adjust, or service the unit. Read your operator's manual thoroughly and refer to it often for information on the care and maintenance of your Toro Grandstand mower. Use only a heavy-duty trailer or truck to transport the machine. Use a full-width trailer ramp that does not exceed a 20-degree incline. When transporting, stop the engine, remove the key, set the brake, and close the fuel shutoff valve. Using the metal tie-down loops on the machine, fasten the mower securely to the trailer or truck. Please stay alert, follow all instructions, and use common sense when operating the Toro Grandstand more.